So this is the finished result. It's on the wall. It's powering. That's our external panel. Everything is inside there. Our wires will do a little better job on the sides. That's our PV and our AC wire. B. No, these are PV wire and AC wire. Okay, turn this. Turn the light switch on for me. Tada! Let there be light and. There was light. Let me come down. There you see. Our batteries at 13.8 volts. That flickering, we don't see with our eye, but the camera catches it. We have a 300 watt panel, so we should be more than enough. And right now it's only 117 amp, 117 watts. It's very coming in. Hello, YouTube. Doctor Soda coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So you remember this little thing, right? This enclosure. A slight change on the side of it. Let me see if you can see that. So that's the change. Let me turn this. That's a change you can see. Um, nothing right now because we've not connected it to PV. That's our battery voltage. This is our AC out cable. Baba Salam, you're in the video. And let me show you what it looks like on the inside. So here's, here's the inside. So we have um, our four. LIFPO4 3.2 uh, volts nominal voltage and 105 amp hours each. We have our uh, 50 amp charge controller. We have our 500 watt 12 volt inverter. And then we have our breakers. We have a um, DC breaker. All these are DC breakers. Here's a battery breaker. Uh, Musako. Actually, Victor, you come. Which breaker is this one? That's the battery breaker to the inverter. Okay, so here's the inverter battery breaker. That's the reason why the inverter is not on. Mm. This good. one is the breaker from the charge controller mm. to the battery. Mm. Yes. And then this one is for PV. Yes. Okay, so we have two pole for the PV, two pole for the um, battery to the charge controller, and then a single pole for the for the inverter to the battery, that's it. So let me turn this one on. It won't blow up, right? Yeah. Turn it on. Why are you guys backing up? Why are you guys backing up? No. Musa backed up. Musa took two steps back. Musa, should I worry? Yes, sir. So that's our inverter. It's on. 220, 222 volts. And our battery is at 13.1. Well, 13.1, 13.2 volts. So let's get back here. So the big debate we had the last time was BMS or no BMS. Well, we didn't put one in. We're eventually going to put one in. As you can see, there's enough room for us to put a BMS in here. But what we did is we put balancers and equalizers. These have two amp balancing current, and it can move uh, from one battery to the other. Our gate of padding to stop our battery from touching the top of the enclosure. Um, where's your ground log? Because yeah? okay, so your ground log is not in, right? Okay, so you have the ground cable? Yes. Okay, so you're going to ground this to this and this to the earth rod we have there, right? Okay, so I hope you heard that. So, it's going to go up and it's that simple. It wasn't really anything complicated. It didn't cost a whole lot to put this together. And I think anyone with basic skills could do this, right, Tosi? Anyone with basic skills could get this done. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from... Lagos, Nigeria. Thank you, Tosi. See him, he's always laughing, he's always happy.